Hi guys, it's your girl Luha Barbie. And when I say Luha, I mean luxury. And when I say luxury, I mean the real luxury. And when I say the real luxury, I mean inner peace. You see, Jesus Christ, he is the Prince of Peace. He is the full bodily revelation of the living God. And I am his daughter. And today I'm here to bring you some peace. So I welcome you guys to my channel in the name of Jesus. If you are new, please, please, please smash the subscribe button. Turn on your post notifications, guys, so that you are notified when I drop a new prophetic word. Guys, you don't want to miss a word from the living God. Please position yourself to, you know, hear from him as much as possible. Um, guys, please make sure that you like this video. Share this with somebody if you can. And, you know, comment down below as much as you can in the comment section and connect with this word. Receive this prayer because every single action that you take is a seed being planted and you will reap the harvest. Now, I want to start this word by saying, you know, in this video by saying happy father's day guys today is father's day okay um and you know i want to say a quick prayer and give thanks to the to the lord and to our heavenly father okay so father we thank you for you know always protecting us and for delivering us from all and every evil thank you for the perfect will that you have for us thank you father that you never forsake us Thank you, Father, that you continue to strengthen us and establish us against the evil one. Thank you, Father, for increasing us and lifting us up. Thank you for delivering us from every situation that we was bound and we were stuck. And we were we was not capable of freeing ourselves, but you have freed us. You have set us free. Thank you, Jesus, for giving us eternal life so that we can have peace with the Father. Father, you deserve all of the glory and all the praise. We are not capable of being good, but by the power of your spirit, you have lifted us up. And by your light and by your power, we are able to reflect to you on this earth and to carry your light in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Listen to me. Listen to me, listen to me, listen to me, guys. Today is Father's Day, okay? And the Lord is calling me to release this word to speak to you about your father. Okay. And you know, it's not just your father, it's also your mother, but this one's very specific. This one is about your father because today is Father's Day. And I'm going to speak about your earthly father and I'm going to speak about your heavenly father because whoever this word is for, you have, you know, some pain against. You have some pain and you have some hurt and you are you are, you have a some um unforgiveness the lord is saying a spirit of unforgiveness against your parents because you know you have seen you know the manifestation of the enemy through your parents okay and you see the bible says a man's enemies will be the ones out of their own household and it's very true you see as you start to obey god and walk in your your purpose right as you start to walk in the spirit you will start to see the enemy rise up against you through the people around you and the people that you love and he uses your family very specifically because we have a connection to our family we have love for our family right and he wants to attack your heart he wants to attack your mind so the enemy has used your family members in order to harm you in order to work against god's will for your life and you know somebody is holding a lot of hate a lot of anger a lot of unforgiveness for your father okay and for some of you it's your mother for your mother for some of you it's your siblings but the lord is calling me to release this word to tell you you must let this go the bible says you know you must forgive others in order for the lord to forgive you okay you want forgiveness you want you want you know deliverance you want all of these things you want all of these blessings but you're not able to let go of you know you're not able to let go of what has been done to you or you know able to forgive the people that have hurt you and it's really important that you understand that we do not wrestle against flesh and blood but principalities powers the rulers of the darkness of this world and spiritual wickedness in high places these, these spirits that have been manifested manifesting or have manifested in the past through your father through your parents through your siblings through your friends right through the people that you love it is not actually them it is a spiritual thing it is a spirit it is an unclean spirit you know when listen to me for real when the enemy can no longer attack you when when a spirit of death can no longer keep you bound when these spirits these familiar spirits and these spirits that have been holding you for a very long time a spirit of witchcraft you know a spirit of pride you know a spirit of rejection a competitive spirit when you are delivered from all of these spirits and the lord truly sets you free okay and the, the, the enemy is not able to hold you he will manifest through your family members the bible says this 
house, okay? The Bible says this, and man's enemies will be the ones out of their own household. And it's very important that you love your enemies and you pray for your enemies and you continue to, you know, obey God, right? And don't hold on to pain, anger, unforgiveness, because then you are giving the enemy power to control you and to use you for his kingdom, to stop you from carrying out God's will for your life. You must let go, you must forgive, because your enemies actually cause your promotion, Okay, I want to talk about when I was first saved by God, that the, the manifestation of my household, that the manifestation of the enemy through my household was deep. It was intense. I went through a lot of stuff. Okay, I had family members, you know, disowning me, disowning me. I had nobody apart from God. And the Bible says, you know, when your mother and your father forsake you god will never forsake you god will never forsake us and god actually allows these things to happen so that we know that our father in heaven our heavenly father will never forsake us he will always show up for us he doesn't want you to rely on man he doesn't want you to confide in man it, there's a time in your life where you have to let go of relying on your parents relying on these people around you to love you god is love he is the source of love he is the source of life he is the one who protects you he is the one who provides for you and you know everything that has you have been experiencing everything that you have experienced happened for a reason so that you can see the revelation of god so don't look to the darkness don't give any credit to the darkness or to the enemy and do not blame them because this is also a spirit do not blame them because the Lord allows your enemies to rise up against you in order to promote you. They actually was a part of your promotion. They was a part of your walk with Christ. Okay, listen to me. It's not always easy being somebody who betrays. It's not always easy playing, you know, the position of Judas. It's not easy. It's not easy. Okay, but that's God's will. It's God's will. And the Lord is calling me to tell you that was my will. That was my will. And you must forgive them because, you know, they... They need to see the revelation of my glory, of my goodness, of my love and of my peace through you and through the things that you do, of the way that you act towards them. You must understand that the Bible says, you know, honor your mother and father. The Bible says, you know, do not um, follow the instructions of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother, for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head and chains about thy neck. This is talking about, you know, generational generational order change generational order change right generational wealth generational um value because you see chains and ornaments it could be passed down listen to me generational order okay this is not chains to keep you bound this is not chains to keep you stuck this is chains that will keep the generations in order it will carry the generations in order and to remain with christ okay do not follow the instructions of thy father and forsake not the law of thy mother for they shall be an ornament of grace unto thy head and chains unto thy neck grace 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 you will be blessed okay you will receive grace and the generations below will be receive grace okay it's very very important that you honor your parents the bible also says in proverbs um listen to me for real the bible says in proverbs it says um in chapter 1 verse 19 okay when it speaks about you know if sin is enticed see consent thou not okay etc i'm not going to read the entire bible verse because i'm going to keep this quick but verse 19 says so are the ways of everyone that is greedy of gain which taketh away the life of their own their owners thereof regardless of what you have been through right and i i understand that some of you guys have been through very traumatic things with your parents deeper than things that I have been through, deeper than things that other people have been through, right? And it's so hard for you to forgive. It's so hard for you to let go. It's so hard because it traumatized you. It made you ex look at life differently. It made you suffer. It made you, you know, not be able to receive certain things and not be able to, you know, love in a certain way. It, it really, um, seeds were planted in you from these attacks which affected you. You experienced the harvest, right? Listen to me, you must understand this for real. You must understand that God works all things together for your good because you have been called according to his purpose and you love him. There's a lot of evil in this world and there's a lot of darkness in this world and you know, we all fall short of the glory of God. We all experience the darkness, but the Lord comes and he, he lifts us up. He's taken you out of the darkness. And now you have been brought into the kingdom of light. 
you live in the light you see life okay and it's not by coincidence that you have come across this video okay the lord is saying that you know everything that you went through okay is going to be turned around and is being turned around for purpose pain into purpose and you must not take away you know you must give credit to those who have brought you into this world you must honor them regardless okay i'm not saying you need to have a relationship with them i'm not saying that you need to talk to them if the, the enemy is still using them to attack you but sometimes it takes for you to you know be that bigger person and to reflect christ to deny yourself to deny your feelings your emotions your will and you know love love allow the spirit of god allow the spirit of love to operate love is patient love is kind love does not envy love does not boast it does not you know exalt itself okay listen to me it suffers and it endures suffering okay love allow the spirit of love to operate somebody needs to go and give thanks to their their earthly father today somebody needs to go give thanks to their mother okay so the lord is calling me to tell you to honor your parents okay you know tell them that you forgive them tell them that you love them okay and you know if you don't feel called cool to do so you know give thanks to your heavenly father praise him worship him understand that everything that you are going through right now is going to be turned together for your good right you will see the revelation of god you will experience his goodness you know after the trials and after the tribulations there will be peace there will be love there will be light there will be glory the glory of god the goodness of god he is a good god and he is the best teacher and you know once you mature in the spirit you will understand that even the attacks it's, ble it's a blessing the attacks are blessings your enemies rising up against you is a blessing everything is a blessing when you walk in the spirit and when you walk in the kingdom of god now i love you guys so much i do i do i do i do do not ignore this word do not just walk away without you know going back to the lord and giving him praise take this word back to the lord in prayer you know worship him today honor your parents guys honor your father give your father thanks today okay listen to me always be that person who is bigger always be that person that is higher that is you know don't be that person who is prideful don't be that person who you know wants to be loved wants this wants that like you are already loved god has already done you know god jesus christ has already you know taken a punishment for us that we never he never needed to do okay he suffered for us he set us free on the cross he never needed to do that he he's a he loves us more than we could possibly imagine guys and we need to reflect that okay we need to follow christ we need to deny ourselves okay so today i ask you guys to do that take this word back to lord in prayer lord jesus christ thank you so much for everything that you do for us thank you father you deserve all of the praise guys connect with this word down below in the comment section if you guys are led to sow a seed into this ministry okay and to give it an offering unto the lord i encourage you guys to do so okay when you sow a seed guys ensure that you're doing it from the right heart posture ensure that you know that you are giving to god and you know of course it is a blessing to me but understand that you know you are blessing god okay and you know you will reap the harvest okay i love you guys so much peace love and blessing shalom